but on Thursday afternoon at 2 p.m. on the eve of the long weekend, with no notice, no warning, and no consultation, the province shared the news that they would be cutting $1 billion over the next 10 years from Toronto Public Health, effective immediately. As the city wonders who will continue to fund vaccinations, school breakfast programs and other public health programs, the province is denying it waited until the last minute to tell the city about more than a billion dollars in cuts to Toronto Public Health, saying instead they had several days to prepare. On Monday, April 15th, uh, the Ministry of Health had a call with the City of Toronto senior officials and representatives of the mayor, etc., were on the call on Monday, April 15th. So there was another call on Thursday, uh, right before the long weekend, but that was a later call. So there were earlier um, calls, and I don't know why uh, Councillor Cressy has been spreading that story because it's fundamentally not true. If you're keeping track, that's four days earlier, but nearly a month after Toronto Public Health passed its budget of $255 million. Now they're faced with a 25% cut, or rather a $64 million hole for the rest of the year, and a $102 million hole next. Which programs do you <coughs> expect will be hardest hit and immediately? The province can and should do the right thing here and reverse the cuts, not just this year, but on a go-forward basis. And if they do so, Toronto Public Health will not be forced to choose between providing breakfast to kids in the morning and ensuring that vaccines are distributed to children in schools. The breakfast program serves more than 200,000 students across the city. It's one of several program board chair Joe Cressy says may be impacted, but Martin disagrees province funds student nutrition programs through uh, Ministry of Children, Community and Social Services and uh, Minister McLeod has, has uh, been adamant that those programs, uh, that funding will continue. That's not changing. And while nearly 50% of the nutrition program's budget comes from donations and the province, TPH pays the rest. That's something Toronto Catholic Board Chair Maria Rizzo is concerned about come next school year. If the, the Toronto Public Health does not provide us with those funds, with those programs, they're gone. Toronto's Chief Medical Officer of Health pointed to the difficulty of preserving something you can't see. But when it works, it looks like nothing is happening. There are no outbreaks. Health Canada says there have been 26 reported cases of measles this year across the country, with many in Ontario. In comparison, New York has seen thousands of cases since October, with New York City alone reporting 400 confirmed cases. Cressy says TPH, which investigates outbreaks, tracks student vaccinations, and actually immunizes thousands of students each year, could be forced to curb some of these efforts. Disease outbreaks don't recognize municipal boundaries or provincial boundaries or any borders, right? So this is the reason why we have a provincial government that has previously funded a greater proportion of this kind of uh, programs. And while an ounce of prevention may be worth a pound of cure, the province says it's simply trying to get the best value for its money. Public health units aren't, aren't delivering the maximum value? Well, you know, every, every, we believe uh, that it's, you know, a government's job to look at every dollar and to make sure that we are getting a maximum value. Now, we know, won't know which programs will be impacted, only those that could, including restaurant inspections, daycare inspections, and dental screenings. And that's because Cressy and Mayor Tory are still trying to get the government to reverse its decision. It's something this government doesn't appear willing to do.